Is that so? It doesn't matter. It's just DPS guide, melee range. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Everybody likes to do damage, and don't yeah. pretend like you don't, because I know you're lying. Facts. Otherwise, why would you be playing an RPG with core mechanics such as leveling up, getting stronger, and looking fashionable as fuck? It's to do <laughs> massive numbers on the other guys until their numbers are so small they match the PP size of anybody who doesn't commend at the end of a duty. The other members leaving too quickly is no excuse. How do you expect to move quick enough to avoid AOEs if you can't even move quick enough to tell your allies they're doing a great job and that their glamour is sexy? Is that uncharacteristically nice of me? Maybe, but it means I get to steal the LB3 from the only melee in the group. Welcome to a crap guy to Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> DPS. Okay, let's go. Today I'm going to be talking about every job. That's right. What, you thought only the DPS have the DPS? Boy, I could slap you with my overflowing glamour dresser. Damage is the name of the game in Final Fantasy XIV, and the entirety of the game is designed around everybody dealing it, including the tanks and the healers. If the DPS rules are contributing 60% of the damage, tanks and healers are the ones who fill in the other 40. So if you don't contribute, you belong in the guard bed shoot. So don't get so hung up on the role names. Everybody, everybody is, is a DPS. DPS. What I mean specifically is See, that... See, now that's what, the not craziest only is that thing. That is the craziest, like, difference between WoW and Final Fantasy XIV is is in wow tank damage is nice but not required healer damage is nice but not required like no one gives two fiddly fucks about a healer's dps in in world of warcraft no one give really gives two fiddly fucks about tank damage in world of warcraft if you get to like the super high sweats like the high mythic raiders in world of warcraft that are pushing like world first shit um then tank damage matters a little bit more but like not a whole lot like it's all about staying alive for tanks and healing everybody as a healer like no nobody so it's literally just the damage dealers so this game like everybody has to contribute to damage which is interesting to me because like i could i can't imagine like doing an end game raid boss with like stupid amounts of damage output and you're having to try to dps in between healing like i feel like that would be a strain on your mana i don't know I, i've never been a healer so Everybody is a DPS. What I mean specifically is that one, not only is FF14 a cooperative game, which means any time you waste is not only yours, but also anybody else in your party as well. And two, every combat feature in FF14 is designed with dealing damage in mind. Healers and tanks get skills that actively promote doing more DPS. Hell, Sage is a healer whose skills actively benefit from doing DPS. And most importantly of all, Enrage. Enrage is what happens when you overstay your welcome in a dungeon or boss arena, and the residents have run out of things to talk about and are just really ready for you to leave so they can finally go poop without being worried that you're going to steal all their old DreamWorks DVDs. That is to say you're either forcefully <laughs> kicked out or alternatively they instantly murder you. How do you prevent this from happening? You murder them first of course and then you pop in a copy of Shrek 2 so you can watch the castle siege again. And guess what? The later and later in the game you get the more and more frequent enrages start to appear. And they'll have more and more health too so if somebody decides they just don't feel like they want to cooperate in this team game they decided to play and now the boss has an eighth of its health left and is about to destroy the entire universe. Princess Fiona isn't going to be the only one who will need a hero. Hopefully it's been drilled <laughs> in your head now that DPSing is essential. Not just for the jobs with the title sticker but also anyone in a fancy robe or edgy trench coat as well now that you know that how does one go about dealing max deeps the first most basic thing is to do your combos press a button see another button light up press that one congratulations you have successfully completed a combo <laughs> and doing so will reap a myriad of benefits from putting damage over time on your target gaining mana doing your taxes or any variety of other additional effects but mostly it all achieves the same goal of dealing more damage secondly you want to press these skills that the game labels as abilities and the community calls off global cooldowns or okay. ogcds for short more like ogcds nuts I I personally call them free damage buttons. They cost you nothing and there's literally no reason not to press them while your normal cooldown is rolling. But this one has a long cooldown. What if I need it later? No, it doesn't. Shut up. The cooldowns <laughs> in this game are so short you might as well press them because by the time you need them again, whoop, they're back up. Not to mention, many jobs require you to press those free damage buttons to unlock even spankier damage buttons. So use your goddamn free damage buttons. It's free damage. The next Fair. Of uh, I get is it. Okay. Your ABCs. Always be casting. Facts. <laughs> That's even a thing in a while. Always be casting. It doesn't matter what you're hitting. Be hitting something. Don't be just standing there like a fucking prom night date who got stood up by her fucking by his fucking girlfriend because she didn't show up because you know she secretly thought he was too fat to date. That was a little too specific and kind of hit close on. Watching away at your keyboard like a tickle monster working double time. More specifically, it means that the best way to make sure you are doing the most damage that you can is to always have your global cooldown going. Even if it means accidentally pressing the wrong skill like the single brain cell that you are. Because if you're always pressing buttons, even the suboptimal one, you are doing more damage than if you weren't. And doing damage is always better than not doing damage. Ah, <sighs> yes, even scathe. Here's a lot <laughs> of example with my two subjects, Jan and Chloe. They both deal one million damage and suddenly the boss flies out of melee range. Jan sits there waiting patiently for the boss to return 
turn before she can start doing a million damage again. Meanwhile, Chloe's pressing the deal one damage at a range button the entire time they're waiting. I ask you, puny viewer, which person is dealing more damage right now? Yeah, but it's only one damage. Who's dealing more damage? As if any fight is going to get so close that dealing- Who is dealing more damage? Sure, it might not look like much, but it's going to matter when they fight the boss that has three million and two health and they wipe all because the other DPS decided they don't want to press buttons. It's such little DPS, it won't make a difference? Sure, Jan. Now, one of the best things you should do to improve your damage in Final Fantasy XIV is this. It's really simple. I want you to lean in. It's a okay. super simple thing. All Here, right. Come close. I'm going to say right. the thing. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes. Read your tooltips! The little block of text that literally tells you what your skills do. Honestly, you would be surprised how many people that spell, wait, did that spell just say ass size? There's a spell in this game called ass size? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child. Text that literally tells you what your skills do. Honestly, you would be surprised how many people queue into an expert dungeon and never realize they have a skill that can attack multiple targets. Even all the things I tell you in this video, the combos, the range attacks, the AoE damage skills, the free damage buttons. The best way to know what your job is capable of is by reading your job skill tooltips yourself. So you better read your goddamn tooltips because if I see another player not knowing about their AoE combo and a mob pull at level 80, I'm gonna grab the nearest ether item and bash you so hard you're gonna be teleported to the final resting place of every ERP or used undergarments. With all that out Jesus. of the way, you think I'd covered everything you need to do to be an ultimate clearing badass, right? Unfortunately, not, Waffle Face. Because the final responsibility every single role in Final Fantasy XIV shares is not dying. Oh sure, the healers help, but most of the time your own survival is on you and only you. And that means making sure you do the fight mechanics and don't take avoidable damage like it's got the cheese touch. Oh, I'm sorry, are you in the middle of your cast? You wanna try and hit that purple parse like the big man you are? That's too damn bad! <laughs> <laughs> you take damage that is avoidable Damn means the has to heal you and they're dealing less damage. And on top of that, you get this cheese puff called a vulnerability stack. For each stack you have, you take more and more damage until oh. you get one shot when the enemy parts in your general direction. All this to say, if you don't avoid enemy damage, you will not only make the healer do less DPS, but you're also likely going to die, which means zero DPS. And if you still think that's not a big deal and the healers can just res you, each time you die, you get a dunce cap of shame that reduces your DPS even more for about as long as a red light in oh. Philadelphia. Oh, so okay, so... So, okay, that's kind of cool. So your punishment for dying in an encounter is ten, is like triple fold. Like, so if you get hit by a mechanic, you don't just make the healers heal like in WoW. Because like in WoW, if you get hit by a mechanic, you just take damage and the healer's got to heal you through it or you get one shot. In this one, you get a vulnerability stack increasing the damage that you take from everything, which is really cool, actually. Um, and then, and so, and then if you die and get res, you have a damage down debuff. That's pretty good. Like, I like that because it makes people more accountable for their damage because they're not going to do as much damage if they get themselves killed. I like that. Reduces your DPS even more for about as long as a red light in Philadelphia. So you better stay alive or else I'm going to raise you so I can rescue you into an AoE and kill you myself. To recap, everybody's DPS matters. Press your free damage buttons. Always be casting. Read your tooltips. Stay alive. But even if you keep all those things in mind, the number one rule to improve your DPS performance is to practice. Striking dummies are all over the goddamn place, out in the overworld, and even in the yards of some random people's houses in the residential districts. So if you see one, there's no shame in whacking it a few times like you're auditioning to be a dominatrix. I'm sure the neighbors won't mind. Practice makes perfect, and even all the force in the world will not fully translate into the doing so go and do that doing so that one day you too can do the do and make everybody else look like doo-doo because of how good your doing skills are and with how much doing you'll be doing maybe someday you too can clear an ultimate and get a shiny ass weapon of your own to show off to people afking at the limsa etherite plaza just know the difference between an amateur and a master is that a master has failed way more times by the way get ready for a i like fight. that wait what <clears throat> congratulations you're now better at the game than you were five seconds ago oh and now you know how to dps you're welcome Wait, what? Oh, finally, my cue just popped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, my cue just popped. <laughs> I like that. That was kind of cool. That, that, you know what? I thought these. I thought these were supposed to be crap guides. These are actually pretty solid guides. Like these are these are pretty cl pretty clever guides. That was, that was pretty good.